Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS 13 Ventura onto a virtual machine using VMware Workstation Pro 16. Some of the reasons why you may want macOS is to run macOS limited applications and just to experience macOS. As you know, Apple cut off support for anything 2016 or older MacBook Pros, so I haven't even had a chance to look at Mac OS 13 yet. So this will be my first look and actually getting it to install into VMware. Now this is still a beta and the ISO can be found in the description. Again, it is not my link, it is from another website. So if the link gets taken down or broken, I am not responsible for that, that is another website. However, it is in the description, go ahead and download it. And you'll also need Unlocker. And Unlocker is a tool that will allow you to install Mac OS 10 on VMware Workstation. I actually did this back in April of 2021 with my Big Sur install on VMware. So I'm not even gonna worry about that, but here is how to do it. All you have to do is basically download the file from GitHub, run the script, and then restart VMware, and you'll be good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually create a new typical virtual machine and select the ISO. And then if Unlocker worked successfully, you'll see Apple Mac OS X, and then you'll be able to click Mac OS 13. From there, we can go ahead and name the VM you can change the hard drive size if you want. And here we can customize hardware. I would give this as much RAM and as much processor cores as possible because it is Mac OS. Um, and display, I would try to fix the display. Um, I would accelerate it even though it doesn't support it. And then just click finish. Once we're here, before we can actually start the VM, we're gonna wanna open the VM directory and then open the VMX file in Notepad. So the first thing we want to do is find Ethernet 0.virtualdev. Sorry about that, I did have to fix that, but we're going to want to find Ethernet 0.virtualdev and replace E1000E with this VMX Net 3. And then we're going to want to take these parameters and paste them at the bottom of the VMX. These will basically give Apple specific parameters to the VM to think, hey, we'll be able to work. So now all we have to do is actually start up the virtual machine, and then we should see the macOS recovery screen. Now as macOS boots, I would like you to know that even with VMware tools, this will not have graphics acceleration and it will be a little bit laggy. I am really unsure how to fix this. Um, yeah, this is about as good as it's gonna get in terms of lagginess. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with English, and then use this utility to format our drive. So we're going to want to find the VMware Virtual SATA drive, click Erase, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Mac OS. And then I don't think VMware likes APFS, so I'm going to go with Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then we're just going to erase the virtual drive, and we're done. So now we have our drive. We can go ahead and click Install Mac OS 13 Beta. Continue. Just continue agreeing with the standard Mac OS stuff. Agree to the license terms, which we've obviously violated. Click Mac OS and install. This process will take about, I would say about 30 to 40 minutes just to get Mac OS to install to the virtual disk. All right, and here we are inside of Mac OS 13. And as we can see, we are experiencing the lag of this uh, VM. Again, this is not the screen recorder. This is, as you can see, my mouse is moving perfectly fine in the host. This is just Mac OS 13 being uh, a VM. And of course, Mac OS has always kind of ran like this, at least for me in a virtual machine. Um, it has actually never run that great. And I'm not really sure how to fix it because VMware Tools doesn't even really fix it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run through this and just set it up like a typical Mac because you, at this point you are running Mac OS. It works perfectly. Like you can run macOS apps on it. I actually did Xcode development on a VM that ran like this for about a week um, until I got my real Mac fixed. So it wasn't ideal, but I was I used it and it was it was okay. I mean it wasn't acceptable, but it was it was okay. And I never really realized how much stuff there is to set up on a Mac. This is a lot. I'm gonna go with auto and continue maybe. Where's my mouse? Okay, we're freezing everything up. Continue. And here we are. So the next thing to do is right click on this and then click eject. 
So that way we can go in and install VMware tools, just like that. Open up our finder, or actually, it opens up automatically. Double click on install VMware tools. Then I'm hoping, yep, just like that. Continue, install. We can go ahead and install VMware tools. Give it admin rights, whatever, all the fun stuff that Apple does for security reasons. Oh, I forgot that there's a new settings app, and I don't know how to use it. Oh, this is great. I think security and privacy, is this how this is? Allow. Okay, I think we restart now. Again, I have not used Mac OS 13, and I don't know how to navigate that settings app, so... It might be a little confusing for some, but I'm hoping that this works. All right, and here we are inside of Mac OS. It does look like our VMware Tools installation did complete successfully as we are running in the full, full screen mode. Um, the mouse isn't as slow as it was before, but the system itself is actually pretty slow. Um, as you can see how long it's taking to just sign in here. Yep, there we go. So it is running not very fast. But again, we are in Mac OS 13 now. So we're here. It works, sort of. Um, I'm, I really have no clue how to make it not run. Because again, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 6 processor cores. That's how much is allocated to this VM. So I'm not really sure why it's running like this. Um, I think it is because of the display. But uh, yeah, this was macOS 13 inside of VMware Workstation Pro 16. If you liked the video or you found it helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.